Sweet. So, this is the Danny Cam. Danny Cam. Not the Emily Cam. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> So my username is going to be different. Our, our username. Our, yeah. We really need to make a universal username. We should do that after this. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make a separate channel for this. Yeah. After, after we finish recording this. Yeah, because I think people are going to start getting really confused. <laughs> yeah, they are. So, yeah. So we're going to make the Danny Emily channel. I don't Danny know. Danny Emily, Danny, or we'll figure it out. Emily, we'll figure it out. Emily. 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 It wasn't Friday, it was it was Monday in my glass box bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, yeah. We went to karaoke in school and then we went to school again and then we went to Main Street and we went to like we, 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 we saw the uninvited. Yes, yeah, we saw the uninvited. And, and it was good, I thought. It was hysterical because well the movie itself wasn't hysterical, it was just it was the audience. With the audience. Yeah. It's like, the audience was hysterical, the movie was scary, but we weren't paying attention to the movie, we were paying attention to the audience, because the audience was more funny. It was full of middle and high school kids, and every time, like, a scary part would come, there would be, like, ear piercing screams. Yeah, like, well, there was only, like, one or two people that were screaming, which, uh, And a couple of the parts, there was, like, a, a lot of people were, but, um, I think, I don't know. And then the guy sitting behind us. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Like, man, she's cute. <laughs> the people in the movie, not us. Yeah. They're not that... You don't have back and chase. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Everyone has back and chase. Yeah. Just kidding again. <laughs> what? I don't know. And yeah, today I went to the Reefer Madness at Venice Theater. It's a little theater. It's technically little the, theater. It's technically not Venice Little Theater anymore. It's oh yeah, technically <laughs> Venice Theater, but some people still call it Venice Little Theater. Some people call it Venice Theater, but everybody yeah. knows what everybody means. Yeah. So Venice Theater, Venice Little Theater, either, either way, I don't care. Yeah, it's supposed to mean, a little theater is supposed to mean a community theater or whatever, but like at theater camp when I was little, it was, little theater was like the five year, five under children's theater. Yeah. So adorable. You always go to see the recitals. They, they, they do all these little shell silver theme poems. Yeah. Mommy, I'm sick. Oh, it was, what is this one? Um, this is one like Charles I've ever seen. I think it's um her. I think it's called by the sidewalk ends and it's like I have the measles and the mumps and it lists every condition that this kid is saying they have. Oh, what do you say? It's Saturday? I I, I forget. I don't know now. Can I go outside and play or something like that? I have to show it to you. It's so cute. It's like, even cuter to see like little four year olds doing it. <laughs> So yeah, I went to Venice Theater, Little Theater, whatever. I know, sorry, I'm like yeah. completely off topic. It's fine. Sorry. Yeah. I saw, um, I saw a close, the closing day of Reefer Madness, which was absolutely hysterical and like over the top. It was like amazing. She would have hated it if she saw it, but I, I liked it. <laughs> This was, was really good. I'll be writing a review on it for school, so I'll post it on MySpace maybe eventually at some point or something. I don't know. <laughs> I wrote one last week, but I haven't posted that one yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, there's commercials on. More importantly. <laughs> yeah, and we're not really paying attention to them. Yeah. <laughs> we just had to do a blog about it first. Or yeah. During it, whatever. We decided to do our, do our weekly vlog early. Yeah, no problem doing that on Monday. Yeah, I know. We'll yeah, can just make other random weird videos if we want. Yeah, we don't have to stick to the short you know. Yeah. We could do it multiple times a week. We could. That's true. Although we Especially if we could make it. Yeah. Although, then we could make it vlog. But true. maybe people would like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We can find great other random things to make videos on us, can we? Yeah, we can do this like, is us, after all. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We can, like, do scenes. We can. Do monologues. I looked online for scenes last night, and I couldn't find any. Like, I found a couple, but they weren't really appropriate for us. They were, like, older lady scenes. So I was like, that was kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah. 
they weren't really very emotionally charged either. They were just kind of like very basic, stereotypical things by actors. Yeah. I always hated acting class. I love acting class. Oh, I? I don't know. I always hated it. Yeah. I don't like improv because I'm not good at it, but I like so much. Yeah. Whenever we did like improv or something, like. By the time that I, re- I started to want to go up, we'd be done. Yeah. In class, and I'm like, wait, I wanted to go up. Oh, I never wanted to go up. But the thing with me in improv is, like, when I think of what, oh, I should have said that, like, it comes to life. Yeah. And then, like, when I'm actually doing the scene, I'm like, oh, my God, wait. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I usually kind of just say, yeah, everything. I don't know. And I very nonsensical tactics to try to get what I want and everything and then later I think of oh I could have said that that would have been so much better I know <laughs> I've always sucked at improv and like acting yeah it's a lot easier in DC work yeah it is but Ava's a model of work because even though technically you're supposed to have no mod to a well talking to a person during a monologue it's really like a lot of monologues aren't written very well so you're not really talking to a person you're like telling a story and if you don't have anything re- really good to fight for to get what you want or whatever then it's kind of like not very emotional like it's not going to be convincing yeah whenever I took acting classes or whenever I did scenes with people it's like you really couldn't see it off of them because they were just there. Yeah. That's always good how it looks for me. It's like with um, film audition, I just, oh, God. <laughs> the way I had to play off of it was like literally reading the words off the script. She had to be like, um, like, how could you do this? I don't know. <laughs> and Emily was there, she couldn't even, she could it, it was horrible. I mean, even if you're reading off the page, you can at least try. And I'm like, I have no way to connect to you. I'm supposed to be angry. Well, I was, she told me not to be angry because, like, that wasn't my character's nature, but I was supposed to be offended by what she's saying. And this lady wasn't being offended at all. You could just feel like, I told you I didn't want you to do that. And it's again, I know it was, like, the first time she saw the script, but after a couple of times, she could have at least, like, gave it something. Yeah, I mean, I'm terrible at reading. Like, I had to read before, and I still put emotion into it. So it's like, it's like when you're like, I, or sorry, like, I didn't want you to do it. Then and you're supposed to be like, but I want to! And it's like, just like, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just hard to be, it's hard to connect with this person's life. And that's but, like, at least what I always get when I do connecting class. Yeah. Or just like community theater in general. Yeah. It's just like, hi. Hi! <laughs> Can you give me something here? <laughs> Hello, how are you doing today? I'm great, how about you? I am wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now switch. Hi, how are you? I'm awesome, how are you?
that you'd understand.